Well, greetings, everybody. It's Saturday, June, I don't know what. Day before Father's Day. So, that is the redneck hookah. All it is is a lawn tractor inner tube with about three and a half, four feet of tubing duct tape to it. And then I hook it right onto that hose right there or my full face mask and I'm able to go underwater and free. So I'm gonna get back down in here today and hopefully get to the bottom of this, at least some of it. And I've got my son with me over there. He won't be here all day though. He's <laughs> He says that's as far as he's going in the water. <laughs> All right, let me get busy. Look who's here. <laughs> I love it when good people show up. And Jerry. Jerry's over there. And Hung brought the Bay Street Finder I left with her to use. We got that set up. And Steve, <laughs> almost lost your suction hand dredge. It went way down river, but I knew eventually it would sink, and it did, and I found it, thank God. So, save. Mama Duck. See her right there? Yep. Alright. Alright, so I decided to take a little walk downstream. I've showed you all that there before from up on the hill. Gold drop zone, nice whirlpool over there. But it comes around this bedrock, and right down here is all exposed bedrock in a deep hole. I'd like to get down in there sometime, but that's a whole lot deeper than four feet. That's probably about eight feet, eight feet deep up against the bedrock over here. And that's, uh, I'm sure it slants down in the bedrock, so, but I'd like to check it someday with the proper breathing apparatus. That's somewhere down the line, but my classifier got away from me again today, which caused me to take my first swim of the season a while back. Well, I had to chase it again today, and it went way down here, and I was on the other side of the river, and I saw some awesome bedrock down there that's been exposed as a result of that storm. So we're going to walk down there and take a look. So I'll get back to you when I get down there. Well, Mama Duck just flew by. I missed her. On camera anyway. Alright, so the storm has etched out. Of course, that's fast moving water right there. But over in there, all down in, that was never exposed before. That's all exposed. And there's more down there. So I'll walk down a little bit further and show you that too. Suction hand dredge time. Yeehaw. Nice crevice going up that bedrock too right there. 
All right, get back to you in a sec here. All right, that's the bedrock over there where I was just pointing and the crevice up and through there. And now I'm back on that inside bend where this tree was where we used to step down in this little bowl of the tree and then jump down onto the gravel bar, like four and a half, five feet down. <laughs> now it's, that niche is like buried with overburden. But anyway, so out here, all kinds of bedrock. I just showed you that over there. Look at it. It's all outside bends, but it's worth looking at. Etched it all out. Look at that. That's bedrock right there, but look how it's, it goes down in on the front side. That's amazing. And then a major dump off on the other side, deep hole, and then more bedrock over there. That's incredible. That is just incredible. That was all buried before. Never seen it before now. And these rocks are slippery already. They usually aren't slippery until fall. But that's a deep hole right there in between those two sections of bedrock. That's a nice deep hole right there. That's got to be a good five, six feet deep. And who knows what kind of bedrock's been exposed down here. What do we got going on over here? Oh, wow. <laughs> Boy, these rocks are slippery. Look at that. Etched it right out. Wow. I should have came down here. Man. Follow that bedrock right back in. I could get a setup over here and dig this bowl out. Isn't that beautiful? Man. <laughs> okay. I think we might come down here. I'm still having a hard time finding the gold since that storm ripped out all that land. So I know some of it ended up down here for sure. Yeah, I think I want to clean this out. Mother Nature, who does not exist, has already got it started for me. Oh yeah, I could block that off, get a nice setup over in here. Heck yeah. And there's that truck bed liner that ended up downriver. 
that came from who knows where. Getting behind this big rock. I guess we won't be moving that. All right. I got to hike back. Catch you all later. Look at the overburden up there. Yeah. That is amazing. All right, I gotta go. Catch you later.